Hello there, I'm Graham, and today I'm joined by my colleague James Clark, who's a workstation technologist. You certainly bought what I know as a workstation along today. This yeah. Is the P5. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. So the P5 is actually the uh, the baby, uh, if you'll uh, if you'll take the expression, of our latest Sapphire Rapids uh, workstations. Um, it really is what people would think of as a traditional workstation. You know, it, it does look uh, sort of a lot larger than you'd expect from a regular PC these days. But what they don't expect is all this beautiful design, which is thanks in large uh, to Aston Martin and, and their brilliant design team. Um, you can tell that the, uh, the the red piping around the front is actually uh, taken from the tail light of an Aston Martin. The front grill is actually inspired by the Aston Martin DBS. Uh, and there's all good reasons for it. It's not just form, it's also function. The fins on the front help to channel the airflow and that's where Aston Martin really came into their own. They helped design all of the thermal dynamics of the inside of the machine as well. Hot hardware doesn't run properly, uh, you know, the performance starts to degradate the hotter the components become, um, but also the longevity of the hardware is restricted the hotter it gets as well. So it's all about being able to keep it stable, keep the performance as high as possible for as long as possible, but also keep the lifespan as high as possible. Yeah, it makes. I mean, they're, they're experts at taking other people's powerful components in terms of that engine and then getting the most out of it. Absolutely. And this is what we do. So we've got Intel Xeons in here. What's the highest it can go up to? That's exactly it. So we've got a 24-core uh, Intel Xeon uh, W72495X, uh, which is absolutely fantastic, but it doesn't have to be high core count as well. It can be very low core count, but also very high core speed. So it's an extremely versatile box for anyone that's doing single threaded applications like CAD, SolidWorks or Autodesk, things like that. But it can scale up to a lot of the production type applications, things like Adobe Premiere Pro. It's absolutely fantastic for those kind of workflows as well. Yeah, I was going to say, in a lot of this space, we know there's uh, one manufacturer, particularly in media and creativity and, and, you know, those kind of industries. But in terms of sort of upgrades, you see a lot of those kind of devices on the second hand market because people need to move on. Presumably, looking at this big door on the side, this is an easy one to upgrade and extend the life of the device. You've hit the nail on the head. That's exactly what it's designed for. There's no point in buying more than you need, okay? We should always, when you speak to us, we'll always spec for exactly what it is you need for your particular workflow. Now, over the course of the product's life, your workflows are going to change and evolve. And that's what the workstation's designed to do as well. You can upgrade pretty much every component inside of this. Um, to the nth degree, you know, this will take up to two graphics cards. You know, you don't have to start with two of the highest end dual width graphics cards. You can start with a single one or even a small one and then upgrade it as your workflows evolve. Brilliant. This is all toolless as well, isn't it? Completely so. toolless, yeah. You don't have to be completely tech savvy like you and I are. Um, you and I is. Uh, we can, you can take this apart and upgrade every part of it with very little knowledge. And for the user, they're not sort of sitting there waiting. They've got post-prod to do or a, a, a building the render and someone's beneath their desk. Very quick upgrades because they're this not going This is it. Not everyone's IT department sits in the same building as they do, perhaps. Brilliant. So, go on in, quick fire. I'm going to hit you with this. Max RAM? Uh, Max RAM is... 512 gigs, which is wow. crazy, right? Right, now, plenty of room for, I'm sure there's room for hard drives in here. What's the count? So of? much hard drives, and it's more about speed for, for this kind of product, you know. So we can still fit three of the big spinning drives in, you know, the, the old legacy hard drives, if you like. Uh, but we can also fit seven M.2s in here in various uh, ways for, uh, and functions. So, you know, in terms of reliability, in terms of performance, this has got it in spades. And that future proof it. And the great thing is, it's a regular kind of chassis, so not mean the name names, but if I wanted to put this on wheels, I haven't got to spend several hundred pounds on four castles. <laughs> so, ne nearly a thousand pounds worth. No, no, you don't, absolutely. <laughs> All the accessories that you can buy for this are, you know, regular market market prices. Brilliant. Well, this is certainly designed for what IT needs and users want then in, in various different verticals. I love the different types of CPUs are available as well. So ThinkStation P5. That's yep. right. Brilliant. Okay, thanks, James. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this or any other Lenovo products, get in touch with your Lenovo account manager or your Lenovo reseller. And you can check out the link beneath the video as well. And more importantly, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon for another Lenovo Tech Talk. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Lenovo, Lenovo.